sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management. Hey folks, Joe McCarthy from Catchpoint. And in this tip of the day session, I'll walk you through an actual use case we had last week and how we troubleshot that issue. Our VP of sales has been having ongoing issues with his voice and video calls. Now Tim, like most employees, is working remotely from home. So trying to figure out the root cause for this type of issue where so many variables are in play is a huge challenge and we're not alone, as I'm sure many organizations are up against these same types of issues. So let's check out how Catchpoint resolved this issue. Because this was an ongoing issue, we created a custom dashboard specifically for our VP, showing as many telemetry data points as possible. As any troubleshooter knows, the more monitoring points you can leverage, the better chance you have at quickly diagnosing the problem. Now in this dashboard, we're leveraging our endpoint agent, which is installed directly on Tim's device. So we can see that Tim is located in Massachusetts, and we have a list of applications that he's using on a day-to-day -day basis. So Teams, SharePoint, Planner, Office, as Catchpoint is an O365 shop. And we can see right off the bat that Teams is showing higher round trip time on the network than other Microsoft services. And we also see that Teams is consistently showing that trend over time. So something appears to be going on with regards to Teams and Tim's environment. We can also look at Tim's local environment. So we show his device, his local ISP, he has a high-speed connection. We look at his average application response time, which is around a little less than one second. And his average round trip time to systems and services is about 20 milliseconds. So we get a good sense as to what his local environment is looking like. We also know that Tim's system can perform differently for different systems and applications. So we mapped out how each app is performing, and sure enough, Teams is showing performance issues. So the question is, is this a Teams issue? Being a SaaS application, any number of things along the service delivery chain could be affecting this. Or is it Tim's local environment, or possibly a VoIP issue? Lots of possibilities. Now, knowing that these issues were happening during video calls, we want to rule out any VoIP type issues. So with our custom monitor, we can look at the overall mean opinion score or MOS over time. We can also look at SIP performance and track if there are any jitter or packet loss issues. So looking at this, the overall call quality is looking good, but Tim is still complaining about call issues. So we need to dive deeper into Tim's actual device. And to do that, I'll simply navigate back up to where his device is listed and simply click into it. So this view is showing SmartBoard data just from Tim's device over the past seven days. And Teams is consistently showing a high trend of latency. So we're thinking there is some network type issue with Tim's local Comcast environment and possibly Teams. So let's look at his local environment. With our endpoint agent installed on Tim's device, we can view Tim's end-to-end -end network path directly from this view. Here we're looking at all the paths starting from Tim's local device. Then it goes out to his local router at his house, these two dots. Then out to Comcast. And then from there out to the internet where he connects to all his SaaS-based applications that he uses on a daily basis. Now when I zoom in on Tim's local router within his house, we're seeing a bit of an oddity that's not happening with anyone else. Notice you see two dots. The top dot, which is his local router, it's only, it's less, the, the round trip is 0.80 milliseconds. The bottom dot is 14.67 milliseconds. So at times it bounces between the two connections, which is only happening with Tim's local router. So we need to check that out. Now when I compare other employees to Tim's environment, so example here I'm using Joe M, because I know he lives in the same area, he only has one connection out from his local router. Looking at Tim's, he's got these multiple paths so Joe, he connects through one of the paths that Tim's uses and it's very low round trip time. If you look at his other path, that's where he's having 11.17. And then let's look at Tim's packet loss, 75% compared to Joe's, zero. And again, looking at other folks, Navia, Arnold, Zach, they're all having just single connection out of their local router. So Tim, for some reason, is having these multiple paths so we need to have him contact Comcast to see what's going on. Come to find out, Tim's local router was faulty. Comcast replaced it and all future voice and video calls work flawlessly. 
Now, if I was using a tool that focused just on APM, the application, NPM, the network, or endpoint monitoring, the local device, it would have been either impossible or very time consuming to find the actual problem. Because Catchpoint combines all three types of telemetry, we can quickly triangulate on where the issue is and get the right people involved to solve the problem. For more information on all Catchpoint solutions, please visit the link provided. Thanks for watching. Sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management.